What's up? What it do? How's it going, Chicanos? It's hit me up on Instagram, famouswolf.24. Remember that. You want to know something? I heard people, seen people type in and ask, what's up with the feather in your face? I can't see your face. The thing is, is do you really need to see my face to hear me talk all the time? Like, and my scenery is not as good as it used to be. Like, I can't use a computer and be able to show recordings how I used to. I just want to throw that out there for y'all. But uh, let me just talk. I was, you know what? I got some time. Let me tell a little story about just growing up in the 90s as a elementary kid throughout Northern Cali. See, growing up all, off top, I just remember growing up around the homies because my mom, she was a homie. So growing up, all my cousins and my families were homies, like I've said in previous stuff, but some people don't remember. So just growing up in the 90s, I automatically, time was still rough in the neighborhood. Like, I, I didn't have older brothers. I had older cousins and uncles who were, you know, I was five years old in 95. They were no more than 10 years older than me. So I was had them. They had somebody for me to look up to where they were like my brothers, my two uncles, especially because <clears throat> I grew up with them like we feel like we're brothers, you know, and they're like my uncles, obviously, and really. So growing up, it was like they didn't have a little brother. They had their little nephew. And then their, my older cousins, too, they had a little cousin. Oh, yeah, so if anything, I needed to fight somebody's little brother. I always had a fight in the neighborhood. Oh, we got my little nephew. And, like, it was automatic. In the 90s, it felt like it was still just pretty hardcore. Like, I grew up mostly in San Jose in the 90s through that elementary life. And then so growing up, I just remember admiring and seeing, you know, cholos and my my uncle like in middle school he was all creased up choloed out hair slicked back like uh, my uncles I see my cousins you know 501s creased up and I always like that I always admired that style and that way of low riders and seeing my cousin he always had a low rider I'm seeing that type of lifestyle in the 90s I just even remember I had to be tough like my mom was still young and wild, and so she raised me to be tough, and she allowed me to be tough and boisterous and run the streets with my uncles. And as a kid, like four, five, six, all the way till I was 10 years old, like when I was in high school, I had more of a curfew than I did when I was living in San Jose as an elementary kid. I always joked about, but see, like it was, I just remember it was it just being hardcore though in the 90s still like I don't know how to explain but I just even as a kid other kids even when I lived in Modesto like kids were just thugging still like mugging you as uh, elementary kids fools would act hardcore fools would talk about they banged and yelled out norte or some kids maybe knew about Sureño and I've heard about them saying that but I didn't really understand to the point of like oh it's funk as an elementary kid living in San Jose living in Modesto and it's pretty interesting because now like even within the hood level in this day and age as the later 2000s that type of mentality started dying off like people weren't letting their kids be out there on the streets just to roam even within the hood like you know, you got to learn to change that. You got to learn to put curfews and structure, you know, upon the children. And that's how the neighborhood gets better. But even, I mean, in the 90s, never having a home in San Jose, living wherever a family member would let us live in their apartment, living in hotels, living in a van. Like I've been to plenty of different schools. And I remember this one time I had to help my friend. Well, it was me and my uh, black homie, Marshawn, and we were looking for a homie, Brandon, at lunchtime, and he was disappearing on us, and I guess he was hanging out with some other kids, even at the last recess, I remember him saying, but we were looking for him, and I couldn't find him, 
and we were walking out to the field and I look and I see this kid beating him up and we're small kids me and Brandon are tiny and this kid's beating up my homie Brandon and I just run up and I start socking the kid in the back and in his back of his head and he gets jumped and he gets scared and he jumps back and he turns at me and he laughs because like, oh, I'm little like Brandon I'm a small little second grader even though I was what seven in the second grade I'm, I'm a small dude still and so this kid he starts trying to come at me and he starts like I square I'm squaring up and then he's like kind of noticed and he tries to throw a punch but nothing happens he didn't know how to really throw his arms but I start throwing my arms windmills and tornado punches on him and then he's trying trying to throw me and and like he was doing Brandon Brandon didn't know what to do he was shocked he never grew up in that mentality like I did Brandon was a nice I think like Mexican Jewish kid he 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 was uh so he didn't understand that he didn't grow up around that and uh, so he just was completely helpless when he was getting thrown around. When he was throwing me, it was nothing like, man, my uncle slammed me on my head all the time since get punched in the chest, been in plenty of fist fights. By the time I was seven, been in probably 50 fist fights with my cousins and kids in the neighborhood. So I start fighting this kid, throwing windmills and tornado punches on him. And he didn't know what to do. I, st he, I was getting the best of this kid and he was pretty bigger than me. And, and he was a, a grade above us. So he just starts saying, stop, stop, stop. And then the story to that, if you want to know, is he went and told on us, went and told on me. But we didn't get in trouble because his friends actually told the truth that, you know, he was picking on my friend. I went up and defended him. And the principal just said, next time, let somebody know. And I wasn't in trouble for defending my friend. But... One thing I learned as a kid, at seven years old, this was 1997, the last year I lived in San Jose before we moved to the Valley in Modesto, is that all this fighting that I was doing as a kid and all this violence that I seen and misbehavior and being aggressive by my uncles, being taught how to fight, etc., that you could actually help somebody that learning, knowing self-defense, having sometimes being an aggressive state of mind, it can be beneficial. And that's even as that first time as a little kid, I learned that. I learned that I was able to help my friend who was completely, you know, stuck. He was, he didn't know what to do, helpless. But man, being in the 90s, I can remember living in Modesto and we moved to this ghetto trailer park, straight slump trailer park, trash. And kids in there were wild, man. We used to mug each other. We had our own little cliques still. And I used to fight kids all the time. Kids used to, I remember, like, act hardcore. Like, hey, we're in elementary style kids, even up to middle school. But, you know, they would act hardcore. Fools would mug each other, want to fight each other. It was this straight attitude within. And especially what we were over there just having our own uncles and cousins the same as me with this from the 80s and 70s with this gang banging mentality hoodlum mentality whatever you want to call it and we all still admired that and had that state of mind and so it's interesting how sh stuff changed it shifted like some of our parents if you had like my mom had me at 16 in 1990 so if you had a young parent like me and then they later on had a sibling in the 2000s obviously a parent gets older and starts raising their kid a little different and then so the 2000 babies right now that are 20 are you know your little brother and sister my little brother and sister not even some of the late 90s babies maybe but so other than that like what is it like for any of y'all 90s babies remember about the 90s? I know that anybody older than me could automatically remember the 90s. But I'm, like me being a 1990 baby I could, and having a great memory, I remember the 90s. Like yesterday, I remember in 96, my mom told me that Tupac died. We were in the car. My uncles watched Yo! MTV rap and all that. So I knew who rappers were. I knew... You know, I used to like Chili when I was five years old, TLC. I knew who, I knew about hip-hop. I was aware of who was who. And I remember when Tupac died, Biggie died. 
and I don't remember when Easy E died, but I remember Tupac and Biggie dying. You know, I remember, you know, moving and, you know, listening to all these uh, when Tupac's mom and Biggie's mom went on stage, like having these memories in the 90s of certain stuff that went on throughout memories of just even still seeing like in the 90s in San Jose, I remember when you would see someone who was like black or white together, people were like, oh, wow, like like still mixed couples in the San Jose in the 90s was still like, whoa. So I just still being able to remember being a part of that generation that I could have my older aunts and grandmas re- clicking the TV like that, 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 to change the TV, seeing all this 50s and uh, first, you know, TV, all that 50 electronics and electronics from the 60s and 70, 70s building up. I have memories on that within the 90s, even though I'm still young. I just have a good memory of watching, you know, Hey Lucy and the old original Pink Panther and Garfield. You know, as five years old, waking up, going to school, and those were the shows I would be on before I would, you know, go to school in the morning, and watching Three Stooges with my uncle being five and six years old, so, you know, the 90s, it was a pretty uh, interesting time. I would wonder what it would be like to live there, and this time, at my age, going back in the 90s, coming even to see what Sacramento was like, it was a way smaller city than it was, but, um... Other than that, how was the 90s for y'all? For, obviously, if you're older, you could tell me about how it was for you. But any 90s babies remember the 90s? Because, obviously, you may be too young, but what do you remember? How was it for you growing up in the 90s? Peace.